Take in the vibrancy of a Trinidad Carnival costume or team jerseys signed by the Reggae Boys, Jamaica's national football team. How about culinary artifacts from Haiti and Cuba or that shiny gold outfit that dance hall superstar Spice once performed in? Now, these are just a few of the items in a collection that brings the culture of the Caribbean to life at the Island Space Caribbean Museum in South Florida. You know, we have 30 plus countries that I identify themselves as Caribbean. And we want to make sure that we are telling a fulsome story. Island Space Caribbean Museum is said to be the first Caribbean focused museum in the United States, dedicated to celebrating the heritage and traditions of the Caribbean region. And it opened just a few months ago at the end of 2020. We've been very, very mindful about making sure that people feel included and represented. And so everybody's not gonna come in and see something that belongs to them, but many, many people would. Khalid Thompson is the executive director of Island Space, the nonprofit behind the museum, which actually evolved from pop-up style cultural events. The museum is separated into three sections covering over 5,000 square feet. It fulfills what Thompson described as the need to create a unified space to explore and celebrate Caribbean history, culture, and traditions. So when you walk in, the first thing that you're gonna see is this a, a big map of the Caribbean, and then you'll see a welcome wall where not every island is yet represented, but we're working on it. But in each island's language, you will see a profile of Jamaica. So you'll see the population numbers and the motto and the anthem and the, um, the, the colonial backgrounds and all that kind of information. You'll see a little profile on Jamaica in English. And then if you look at the Cuban version of that, you will see the same thing in Spanish. And if you look at the Haitian one, it's in Creole. And the Martinican one is in, in, in French, right? And so we tried to, um, just from the beginning, make people feel welcome and feel like it's theirs. Visitors are given the chance to discover the unique characteristics of Caribbean countries and explore how the region evolved as they walk through. We go from, um, from indigenous people, we talk about slavery and plantation life all the way through emancipation. And then we get into a section that we call evolved identity. So you are literally seeing how governments were formed and how money um, and economy started to be built and how our culinary um, appetites started to come together. And then we get into tradition. So you, you're seeing things like the religions and the festivals and carnivals and our pastimes. And then you get into um, the, the arts and entertainment, which is a big thing, of course. What is it that you want people who visit and experience the museum to walk away from that experience with? Like what kind of impact do you hope to have? We want people to feel like they belong somewhere and if you are from the Caribbean, of course, that goes double for you. <laughs> if you walk into our space and you're from the Caribbean, you should feel like, oh, this is ours. Like I, we actually have seen people walk in there and go, oh, this is have nothing to do with it. You know, oh, this is ours. And our answer is yes, right? So if you're from the Caribbean, we want you to feel that. But if you're not from the Caribbean, we also want you to feel like you are a part of something because all of us are a part of something. The team at Island Space Caribbean Museum says that you can support their efforts by giving up your time, talent, or treasure. So you can volunteer, provide items for exhibits, or donate funds. For Destination Diaspora, I'm Melissa Noel.